Hey there people, welcome back to Spray Love. Today I'm going to talk about fitted clients, no limits. A fragrance that I just love and love so much that I'm doing like thousands of videos about it and just telling you guys how awesome this fragrance is. And um, in my opinion, probably the best thing that got out that year, I think it was perhaps 2018, perhaps 2019, I, I don't remember, I'm not really good with dates, uh, perhaps even 2020, but uh, it's an amazing scent and uh, actually one of my wife's favorite right now, but she likes it when I use it only sometimes here and there, so she doesn't get used to it and she's just like always wondering what did I do to smell like that, it's so good, and then I tell her, I told her about like, you told me that multiple times and it's the appliance no limit and uh, so this one is is just really good it's an attention grabber I use one spray of it it lasts all day and like even more and it's it fills the rooms it's just it's just a powerhouse it's I've rarely seen powerhouses as powerful as that uh, there's like black orchid the buffer um, like the parfum concentration, that one is also a powerhouse. There's also Ariana Grande Cloud, which on me is just frenzy. I cannot spray more than once. It's just too big. But anyway, those fragrances are like some of the fragrances that I just spray once, and it's it's done. You know, it's just I feel the rooms. Uh, I get noticed. The fragrance comes in the air very. Just like I sprayed like three shots of Sauvage or five, even like five shots of Sauvage perhaps. Uh, I tend to spray like uh, three to five times depending on the fragrance, but these ones, just one. Uh, what are you gonna, like, what are the notes? There's a tons of notes in, in that fragrance and there's nothing that's very like, you cannot hold into something in particular. It's kind of like Amen, in which you cannot just pinpoint, oh yeah, this is a Tonka-based fragrance, this is a vanilla, whatever, this is a citrusy, no, like, it's a woodsy, like, Philip Blind's No Limit is a woodsy fragrance, there's wood in there and there's plenty of woods, but it's not just that, it's just like, has that almost flesh-like carnality, it's, it's, it's carnal, it's a fragrance that I would like I would I would call sexual you know it's very very intense and um, it's it has that animality you know it's not completely it's not dirty like it's it's still a you know you smell clean when you put this on but it's not a clean fragrance it's more on the dirty side perhaps because of the wood which has this animalic undertones to it but you know, it's just like, it's carnal, you know, it's not, it's not dirty, it's carnal, you know, because uh, this carnality, this flesh-like vibe doesn't have to go with something that's plain, you know, dirty and you don't want to go near that, it's on the contrary, you, you, need, you want to get near to that, you, need, you want, the, it conveys power, it conveys, um, it, it's great. If you haven't seen the actual bottle, I don't have the bottle with me right now, um, but if you haven't seen the bottle, go check it out because it's it's um, very funny, you know, it's a credit card shaped bottle, uh, no limits, like you've got a credit card and you just can't pay, it's, it, it's kind of like a baller's fragrance, um, it's the, the fragrance for the loaded, it's like the, the marketing behind the fragrance is actually very like um, marketed towards douchebags and I think it's like something that wants to go into competition with other big players like Versace Eros which is very loud very big um, but with less class it's less I don't know it's Philip Klein and you know if you know Philip Klein the actual everything that this guy represents it's you know but like the fragrance 
the notes behind the fragrances on Berto Maria's and I guess that he was like get me a fragrance that would make a man feel very rich and get all the girls and very sexual and Alberto Morias just went in his head to convey this aura of carnality, sexuality, animality, power, the power from the money but now just the power in general and just gave this fragrance away which is super super sexy. Um, I think that women could wear it uh, easily although I must say that it is probably a, um, a fragrance that people would like you would pass a test trip to anyone they would say it smell pretty masculine and I agree it smells typically masculine you know, the woods the, the power the kind of darkness behind it and but I think that uh, anyone can wear that uh, without any problem uh, but yeah it's still very like a very powerful fragrance uh, overkill you know it just fills room I, I only spray one spray I think I said that in previous videos perhaps even this one I just spray one spray and it's just like it speaks for itself like it speaks for itself it's just giving me that super nice aura uh, I get complimented on that a lot um, I think it's not a really classy fragrance it's more into like I like to be wearing sports like material when I wear that fragrance I like to be doing sports when I'm, it goes well with sweat because it has that animalic carnal um, vibe and so with the sweat it's just mixing it together it's made for that you know, it's made for like you're sweating you know sexual intercourse and it just amps it up and makes it even more beautiful and that is the like the beautiful act of love it's it just it's supposed to on spot smell good perhaps not from an exterior eye but on spot smell good and this even from an exterior eye if you sweat a lot if you go running with it it's just gonna have up there's ambroxan in there and stuff so it's just gonna like grow louder but be superb like magnificent and um, yeah and why would I rock this uh, like in a super hot warm day uh, of summer well, I think it, it does work in summer, it has like that, because it's kind of a, a hot and cold fragrance, you know, it's very deep and dark and it has depth with the woods and stuff, but it has that clean aspect, that more elevated aspect and that like almost like um, and the top notes stay a long time and they're, they're you know, bergamot, citrusy, I guess, something like that. And so. It, it just works. It's it's really like a, a continuation of the idea of Versace Eros, which they wanted to do a fragrance that was both fresh and warm, spicy. Because warm, spicy is what is sexy. You know, that's where the sex appeal goes. And the freshness, it makes it you're able to wear it anytime, and it's also sexy and it's clean and it's got that allure that you're, you know, more put together and stuff. And so just mix it up and do something that you can wear all the time. That was Versace Eros's goal. And they've like won, won it 100% because they became what they became, like a giant monster in fragrances. And I think that this is like a continuation of that. It's like, how can we do something that is oud, you know, very dense, very intense, but mass appealing and still has that clean factor and that you can wear all the time. And I think they, they kind of nailed it. But I mean, a lot of people would say, yeah, but it's overclowing in summer. I bet that if you spray three sprays, it's very overclowing. But with one spray, I totally go myself, like, I, I totally see myself just rocking that. I was rocking that on the street today. Uh, just going to buy lunch and got a compliment on it so it's like and it's humid and hot out there so it could have been cloying but no and so this concludes another yet another video my fragrance for the day Philip Lines No Limits hope you liked it spread love and spray love